y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today, I'm gonna bring you five air fryer recipes. I've got a great variety of different things to make in the air fryer. Confession, when I first got my air fryer, the only thing we ever used it for was french fries and frozen chicken nuggets. <laughs> Can anyone else relate? But since then, I have learned so much about it, and I've been making so many different things in it. One of our favorite things to make is chicken wings but today i'm going to be making a side for a dinner tonight so the dinner that i'm making right now is on a previous winter dinners i will link it below it's a beef stroganoff in the crock pot but to go along with that we're going to have some brussels sprouts and these are not just any brussels sprouts these are roasted brussels sprouts with a maple mustard mayo i think i said that right Okay, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is add a tablespoon each of maple syrup and olive oil to this large bowl. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this and we're gonna add our Brussels sprouts in here and make sure that they're coated really well. Okay, I feel like we got a little bit of the mixture on everything. Now let's go over to our air fryer. I'm gonna add them in and try and get them in a single layer if possible. Okay, that works. It's going in and we're gonna cook this at 400 for four minutes. And then we will stir them up and do them for another six or seven minutes. Now we're gonna make our dipping sauce. I'm gonna need some mayonnaise, some stone ground mustard and a little more maple syrup. I'm gonna put in a third a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of the coarse mustard, and another tablespoon of our maple syrup. And let's just stir that together. Okay, it's been four minutes, so let's give this a little bit of a shake. And it's gonna go back in at 400 again. Let's try five more minutes. Oh, those are perfect. Okay, let's give these a try. He has no clue. It's a mysterious sauce. Love the Brussels sprouts. I love the, the texture of it. I don't like them over like overly cooked and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. This has done really well. I love them in the air fryer. I think it's the best way you can do Brussels sprouts yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Good, good texture with that, but this sauce, like this is amazing. It's mayonnaise stone ground mustard, and maple syrup. Mmm. Good stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's good. So y'all need to make these. So we're gonna be making our second side dish in the air fryer tonight. Tonight we are having a taco meatloaf as our main dish. Again, that was in a previous winter dinners video. And now I'm gonna be starting on some Mexican corn on the cob. This is very simple. We've never had corn on the cob in the air fryer, so I'm excited to try it because I heard great things about it. And special bonus, like super special bonus, I have a sous chef who said, I want to make this and I'll be on camera. I'm prepared. <laughs> He's prepared. So this is my son, Cole. He is 17. He very rarely gets on camera anymore. If you've seen some older videos of mine, you've seen him but most of the time, all you see is from him. That's about it. But today he said he is going to help me cook the Mexican corn in the air fryer. What are you doing? Oh, I'm listening to this. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our air fryer. So you're gonna go over here to preheat and 400 is fine, five minutes is fine. Go ahead and hit the start button, yep. Okay, so our basket has been heated up. Now Cole's got our corn and he's just gonna spray it with some oil first before we put it in there. Okay, that's good. These are gonna go in at 400 for 14 minutes and we will kind of turn them at the halfway point. Okay, so he's just gonna turn these over. Good. And they're gonna go in for seven more minutes. While our air fryer corn is still going, we're going to kind of combine some things. 
for the butter that's going to go over top. So we need three tablespoons of butter. I like having a sous chef. Mm -hmm. We need this garlic, a couple of teaspoons of garlic. So just pour that in there. Here's a spoon. There we go. Did it come out? We need about a teaspoon of lemon zest, not lemon zest, lime zest. And so he's gonna do that for us. Okay, and we also need about a tablespoon of lime juice. So he's gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna grab the juicer and he will add some lime juice into here. And this is gonna go in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. We just want to get everything melted, obviously. And we want our um, garlic to be nice and fragrant. This needs to be washed. It does a good job though. <laughs> Okay, I wish y'all could smell this. Oh, our corn's done. Perfection, you want a little bit of char on there. Look at that, yes. Cole is just gonna brush our butter on all over it. He is super excited because oh, yeah. it's been over two years because his braces are off now. Mm -hmm. But when he had braces, obviously he could not eat this. So he has been so stoked. Okay, and Cole does not like cilantro, so we're just gonna put a little cilantro on mine and Steven's. But this is gonna be so good with our meatloaf tonight. Oh my word. One last thing we're gonna to do to just give it a little more smoky flavor is put the seafood seasoning on there. It's got some paprika in there. It's got all kinds of good stuff. So we're just gonna sprinkle this on top. <laughs> this needs to be my thumbnail. Oh man. Mmm. Wow. Man, that's amazing. Air fryer corn, what you think? Man, yeah. <laughs> oh man, the lime. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely coming through. Then okay. you've got the garlic and the butter in there. A little bit of the spices, mm -hmm. the smoky flavor. But yeah. Wow, the lime and butter with the corn. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Okay, well I'm excited. Gosh, it looks, it smells so good in here, y'all. Best corn on the cob I've ever mm. had hands down. Before we go on to our next recipe, I did want to share with you that I am collaborating with a good friend of mine here on YouTube and in real life. Her name is Amber and she has a YouTube channel called Feeding the Birds. If you've been around for a while, then you know I lovingly call her Glamber. She will always and forever be Glamber to me, but she's been on YouTube for several years, longer than I have, I think. And she just recently started a new channel. So she has transitioned from her old channel, which was Amber at Home, to the new channel called Feeding the Birds. So if you haven't gone and checked her out over there, you totally need to. She has all food content over there and y'all, she is one of the best cooks I know. I talk to her daily, she is one of my closest friends and she and I both have really started using our air fryers a lot more so we decided to collaborate on this video. So after you're done watching this one, I will link hers in the description box below. Go check out her air fryer video. She has one up on her channel today as well. Okay y'all, I'm gonna make another air fryer recipe today. We're just doing a quick and easy shrimp in the air fryer. I'm excited about this because we've never attempted shrimp in the air fryer. And I get to use this Anti No No seafood seasoning. Now, I'm gonna leave in the description box below some ingredients that you can throw together if you don't have this. But basically, everything that I'm gonna list is in here, so I'm just gonna use this instead. I've got a pound of shrimp. It was frozen, but I have thawed it out. And then I've got a couple of lemons, some olive oil, and then this. Now, if you don't have this, you could use some lemon pepper seasoning, some paprika, some garlic powder. That, that would all pretty much kinda equal what is in here. I'm gonna preheat. To 400. While that is preheating, I'm going to juice this lemon over top of my shrimp. I'm also going to add in about a tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to put some seasoning on it. I'm just going to toss some seasoning on there, toss it around, see what I think and add more if I need to. Okay, this is preheated. Let's toss our shrimp in. I got it in there in a single layer as much as possible. Now this is gonna go back in at 400 for about six to eight minutes. We're gonna do it at six minutes and then check on it. It could need up to eight minutes. Oh my goodness, these look so good. Let me check to make sure they're done and I'll be right back. Okay, these are definitely done. Oh my word, I'm gonna squeeze just a little more lemon on top. And this was a less than 10 minute lunch. 
for me and Steven. I'm so excited. So Steven and I have both taste tested this. The taste is spot on, but I will tell you, I would check your air fryer at like four minutes. I feel like these are a little overdone. So I thought six to eight minutes sounded a little long. That's why I went with just six, but I think I could have gotten away with probably four or five minutes, but the flavor is spot on. We're still over here chowing down, but I wanted to show you this little sauce that we made is just some yum yum sauce mixed with some Lou's hot sauce. Any hot sauce would be great, but that tastes so good with this shrimp. Wow. It's time for our fourth recipe. I filmed this a little bit earlier. Heads up, it's really good. This is a very simple one. It takes just a couple of minutes to throw together and throw in the air fryer. This is rosemary garlic potatoes. We're gonna preheat the air fryer to 400 degrees. Okay, in this bowl, I'm gonna add one and a half pounds of these small multicolored potatoes. You either wanna half them or quarter them. I'm also gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna add in some salt, a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic, and our fresh rosemary that I finely chopped. You only need about a teaspoon of the rosemary. Okay, let's toss all of that together. Now we're just gonna add our potatoes into our air fryer basket. There's a lot of goodness down here, so let me scrape that out. We're gonna get this in a single layer as much as possible. And this is going in at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. We'll shake it halfway through. Okay, I took them out and they still had five minutes left, but they are done. So just keep an eye on them. Mine cooked for a total of 15 minutes. Now I've got some lemon zest, about a half a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this over top, toss it around, and then it's gonna be time to eat. This smells so good. My entire house smells like this. I love that it's a little charred on some of it. Let's give it a try. This is delicious, but let me tell you, I think this is gonna take it over the top. Just sprinkle a little lemon juice all over. That's gonna brighten it up even more. These are perfection. I do highly recommend just putting a little bit of lemon juice over top of them, but you can taste the rosemary, you can taste the lemon. They are so good. Cole agrees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steven's not here right now, but Cole is, and I are, are gonna probably destroy this entire thing. I was gonna save some for Steven, but we'll see. It is time for our final recipe. And this recipe I might be the most excited about just because it just seems so interesting to me. This is using cauliflower. We are doing almond Parmesan cauliflower in the air fryer. Yummy. Okay, to get started, I just chopped up a very large head of cauliflower into bite-sized pieces. I also have all my ingredients here. I did want to point out it calls for chopped almonds. I had some slivered almonds on hand and I just chopped them up further. And it also calls for shredded Parmesan cheese. I didn't have any on hand, so we're just using grated Parmesan cheese. I am just adding all of my cauliflower to a bowl. I've got about a tablespoon of vegetable oil here. I'm gonna pour a little over half of it in now. And I've got about a teaspoon of garlic. I'm gonna add that in as well. Let's toss all of that together. Get it all good and coated. I did preheat my air fryer basket to about 360 degrees. I added my cauliflower. And we're just gonna put this in here at 360 for 10 minutes. I will shake it half the way through. It's already looking good. Let's shake this. And back in it goes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and they've got that nice little char on them. We're gonna add them back to this bowl here. We're gonna add in our remaining vegetable oil and fog up the camera. There we go. A third a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. We're gonna add in about a fourth a cup of chopped almonds, about a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, and about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Okay, well let's just toss all of this together, make sure it gets good and coated, and it's gonna go back in the air fryer for just about five more minutes. 
maybe not quite that long because I feel like it's almost done. We're gonna check it after just a couple of minutes and just make sure, we'll do three. Okay, this is done. Let's take it over and plate it up. What you think? I think it's good. It is good. We got some kind of cheese or something going on in the bag. Yeah. Anyway. Parmesan cheese, mm. almonds, crushed almonds. Oh yeah. Mmm. Good stuff, isn't it? Mm. That's yep. a great side dish. Lots mm -hmm. of flavor. I like it. <laughs> That's going to be it for this air fryer video. If you want to see more air fryer recipes, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy this content and you want to see more. If you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you're new here, if you're coming over from Amber's channel, thank you so much for being here. That was just a little introduction of what you get when you're here. My husband acting a fool. Don't forget to go check out Amber's channel. If you haven't done that already, you'll definitely want to go over there and subscribe because she has all the great food content over there. If you're looking for even more recipes, maybe not just air fryer recipes, I have a ton here on my channel and then I have a lot already on my website as well. It's just mandyinthemaking.com. Go check that out too. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye. What you got, got me good, what guy I came to talk. <clears throat> Are you okay? I don't know what you got me doing here. Eating? Can you eat? <laughs> I can do that. Okay. All right. Wow. I wanted him to say more than wow before he put another bite in his mouth, but here we are. Oh. Mmm. Okay, before you take another bite, get your thoughts together. The, um, uh, I can't even talk right now. You okay? <laughs> the, uh, what is this again? You don't even know, do you? <laughs> it's got maple syrup on it. And in the, in here. These are called what now? Brussels sprouts. Brussels. <laughs> I'm having trouble, I'm telling you, my brain is not. Rewind, let's Rewind. start that right. again. I can do this, I promise I can. There we go. Okay. That thing doesn't look good, I'll be back. It is time for our final recipe. It's the final one. It's the final.